Hi guys, I wanted to go through and give you a quick explanation about how the summer assignment discussion is going to work and how to set up a Zoom meeting with uh, your other classmate or classmates in the case that has of the group that has three. Uh, for first and all, first of all, you need to figure out who your partner is. Uh, so if you click on the assignment discussion group, these are all your different ones. Uh, this is uh, how my screen looks. Yours should just be paired up with which group you're in. Uh, the other way you can find this is if you go to uh, people and you can find uh, which other individuals are in your group. These are the questions that you need to answer about either the one of the places that you visited uh, or the a book that you read. Uh, so I want you to answer each of these five questions. Now, when it actually comes to recording your uh, discussion, if you go to Zoom, so uh, if you don't already have Zoom downloaded on your computer, uh, please do so. Uh, or if you are more familiar with Loom or other recording, uh, other video conferencing style uh, programs, you can use that too. In order to create a Zoom meeting, uh, you can add a Zoom meeting, if this is what yours looks like, schedule meeting. All right, you could say uh, the summer assignment meeting group 11, let's say, since uh, none of you guys are group 11. Uh, you could start your meeting, set it up for you and your teammates uh, or you and your group members. Um, let's just say 4 p.m. for today. Um, you can, uh, if you're the host or participants, you're going to want to uh, have people's video on. Uh, I do want to see uh, one thing I forgot to mention in class, but please make sure that your screen is showing you so that I know it's actually you on the other line since I don't recognize everyone's voices yet. Um, also, make sure your audio is on. And uh, once you get done with that, you can hit schedule. And uh, for this case, uh, you're going to get your Chaminade email account. If you're not linked up to Google yet, um, you'll need to sign into your Google account there. And at that point, you're going to have your uh, Zoom meeting that pops up. This is going to be the link for it. What I would suggest doing that automatically goes to your Google calendar, or at least it does for my class, uh, for, for my computer. Uh, make sure you copy this link for the Zoom meeting. This is going to be what you're going to share with your partners. This is one way to do it. All right, this is the way I found easiest. You're going to copy this. All right, here you can either uh, just hit Control C to copy it, uh, or any of the other ways you can you know to copy. Hit Save. That's going to save it on your Google Calendar or whatever calendar device you, or calendar app you use. And then what I would suggest doing is either emailing it out. All right, I'm going to email it to myself here, um, and Zoom meeting for AP Bio. All right, and then attach the link. Make sure you mention what time you're meeting, 4 p.m. on Thursday, April, August 20th. All right, and send that off. You need to have uh, the full recording of each of you guys exchanging that information. Uh, when you're all done, it's going to have you save uh, the link for that particular Zoom meeting. And uh, that link is going to be something that you need to post onto the Canvas discussion. So when you go back in here, you're going to hit reply. All right. And you're just going to post the link for this is going to show the link for the actual uh, meeting. But I want you to post the link for the video that you created from the recording of your Zoom meeting. Um, so once you post that, uh, maybe go back and double check it to see that you can actually watch yourselves uh, talking. Make sure early on in the video that you are recording and uh, so you don't want to get to the end of it and have to start it all over again. Uh, so make sure you hit record. There's also a way to set up when you're making the Zoom meeting. Let me show you that really quick. Um, when you're making this, you can do advanced options and automatically record meeting. All right. So know that as soon as you sign in as the host, um, that it's going to automatically record that meeting. Okay. Um, all right. That's all for that. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. Thanks, guys.